Hello Aries, welcome back to my channel if you're a returning subscriber. Thank you for coming if you're new, welcome. I um, hope you enjoy the reading. This is a general reading for your sign. Um, I normally pull out um, three houses of the zodiac and then I work from there. So let, let's see what we got for you now. First house has come out. So everything to do with the body, your life force, your energy. Fourth house, things to do with the home or your your foundation, your family, your roots. Eleventh house. Okay. So let's see what what's in store for you now. Bottom of the astrological deck is solar eclipse revolution, so some sort of shift or change coming in for you. <clears throat> Let's get some goddess guidance. Huna easy does it. Don't push yourself too much. I'm getting that for the first task there. You may be pushing yourself a bit hard at the moment. Artemis. Okay. This one wants to come out as well. Mart. Bottom of the uh, goddess deck is Cordelia. Go outside. Uh, this will also be for your first house, for the body and for your lifting of your vibration and so on. We've got Mart coming in, which is some, normally to do with legal matters or negotiations or documentation, you know, some sort of um, decision-making, negotiation, mediation or legal that comes in with Mart. So you may be waiting for something to come in uh, or you may be expecting an outcome of some sort. Okay, let's get a destiny card. Pleasure. And then I'm going to do a fairy tarot as well. Queen of Spring. Uh, believe in yourself. Wonderful people want to help you maintain a balance between work and home life. Okay, which is why your first house is coming up as well. So, Queen of Spring is um, Queen of Wands. Otherwise, brilliant, loyal, talented, and friendly. So, you can bring that into your uh, into your um, life at the moment. Bottom of the um, fairy tarot is seven of summer. No more procrastinating. Your power comes from making a decision. Confusion that arises from overanalyzing uh, the options. Okay. So let's have a look now. Okay. So as I said, first house... Um, this deals with everything to do with your body. So it's your physical body, um, but it's also your life force, your vitality. Um, it's also what you're projecting outwards at any one time. So this can be to people around you or what others may see, um, you know, when you express yourself or um, as you move through your life. So it's what you're projecting outwards. Um, in some cases, this can be your rising uh, sign as well, if that's overshadowing. Up until about the age of 40, it does tend to have predominance, but after that, it's um, your sun sign really is manifesting by then. So um, it could be to do with that. It's also about your personal independence, how you are making your way in the world, what sort of course you are setting for yourself. Um, it's also your personal hobbies and interests. Um, and this may very well be a physical thing like an activity or an exercise or a sport or something like that. Um, or it could just be, um, 
you know, some other um, interest or hobby of, of yours. But it's to do with yourself, your actual personal, uh, something very personalized for you. So we've got um, Moon Soul coming in. So this is, um, um, the Moon rules our emotional side. Um, so you may find that emotions are high at this time or you are just feeling uh, possibly overwhelmed. Um, with everything that's going on and whatever's occurring around you. It may be a very individual thing or it could be to do with what is going on in the world currently or it could be a combination of both. But this is about your moods, um, your habits and also where you go when you need to relax, when you need to just switch off or when you need to have fun. So it's worthwhile to examine where your moon um, is located in your um, birth chart. Um, so any whatever sign that's associated with is where you like to go or what 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 where you, where you find um you know your relaxation your fun and your and your um you know sort of time off if i can put it that way so um but it also represents obviously um it's it's a cyclical thing so the moon and the cycles of the moon may be important for you now if you are um um, if you are a, a fem in female body, then that would be applicable. But it can also affect us in general because we are large proportion uh, water. So, and the moon uh, moves the tides. So, you know, any anything to do with that uh, may very well affect you. So, just make sure that you are periodically um, taking time out to be. Um, Almost on your own, you know, take time out to re to retreat, um, to just rebalance yourself, to, um, you know, to actually um, take time to just relax and enjoy and do whatever things are that you, that you, where you like to go when you want to relax. Um, it's all about that. Um, but it, there may be a feminine um, aspect to this. Now, we all have masculine and feminine in us. And we, our, our, our duty is to balance both in the life, in our lifetimes. So um, this is about getting in touch with the emotional body. Um, so water bodies may be important for you, may be enjoyable for you. So swimming, spending time near the ocean, in any kind of water body or any kind of water ritual. This can be bathing or showering or water with um, lots of salt content. Um, so all of those are things are important. But it's also about the feminine side. So this is your intuition, your instinct, um, and um, your kind of knowing. Um, and how to navigate uh, certain things and to know when to retreat, to know when to be active, um, to monitor certain things, your, your, the emotions going on around you and so on. So it's a being able to tap in. But sometimes you can get a bit overwhelmed and that is when you need to withdraw. It also is about a feminine aspect around you. Now, this could be another um, another uh, a female or a female uh, sort of um, uh, influence around you. Or it could just be that you are getting in touch with feminine wisdom um, or feminine magic. Um, anything related to that uh, does come in with the moon. It's also about your security, you know, where you feel secure. Um, and, um, and and your moon is, is all about that uh, security, protection, safety, and so on. Sometimes birth can come in with this as well. Um, so, but it's, it is very much um, kind of fourth house related and... Um, so this does deal with the home, the family and domestic things and your clan, the people around you, um, your nearest and dearest and so on. Now we've got here Una Easy Does It. There's no need to hurry or force things to happen. Um, everything is occurring in perfect timing. So um, this is saying that don't push. Uh, as I said, I, f I felt that you might be pushing yourself a bit. And um, there's no need to hurry or force things to unfold within your first house um, and from an emotional point of view. Just, um, you know, any any relationship or any cause or any project or whatever it is that you're busy with at this time is going to take time. It takes nurturing. And that is very much a, um, a feminine quality, but also a quality of the moon. It's about nurturing. Nurturing yourself, nurturing your body, which is coming up, nurturing your own um, sort of pet causes or interests um, and uh, your own, you know, sort of hobbies and interests, whatever is close to you and your heart. Um, it all takes dedication, it takes time and it takes nurturing. But make sure that you are nurturing yourself first and then you can um, extend your energy outwards. If you need to retreat and rest, then that's what you should do. So easy does it. Um, no need to hurry or force things to happen. Perfect timing is at play uh, currently. Then we've got a fourth house, which is everything to do with your home, your physical structure, or where you are currently residing. Um, it's also the atmosphere in the home and the people in the home. Um, and it's also your connection to your, um, you know, your relationship to your um, ethnic identity or your ancestry um, or, or your foundation, your roots, your family. 
All of that comes in with the fourth house. So now we've got here Scorpio, um, I transform, and then we've also got um, Ishel Medicine Woman. You are a channel for divine healing power. So this may be very well needed in your home environment at this time. Um, with Scorpio, I transform, it is about shifting energies. Um, there may be power struggles. Um, there may be a bit of en envy or maybe a bit of jealousy going on. Um, or just, the, it sometimes, um, Scorpio can sometimes unearth um hidden emotions or hidden things which have not been revealed or seen clearly. Sometimes they come up under, you know, when Scorpio is at play. But it is about uh, transforming the energies within this um, influence in life, within this experience of life, which is your fourth house for this energy. So this is very much about... Um, um, working with the energies um, and transforming, transforming negative to positive, and so on. Um, it's also um, um, it can also involve endings and beginnings. Um, uh, Pluto normally rules uh, Scorpio, so that is all of that energy is about endings and beginnings. So this can be the ending of a cycle and the beginning of a new one, or the ending of a chapter and the beginning of a new one. So you may be relocating, you could be changing your environment, or you could be um, you could be transforming your current environment. So this could be like a renovation, or a shift, or a change, or a relocation, um, or it's or it's the people in your home. There's some sort of shift or change going on in there. Um, or it could be the relationship that you have to your family traditions, your family, your your um, your clan, which does come up with the moon as well. It's about family traditions and things like that. So it seems to me that your energy is very much required where you are at the moment, um, and so a lot of your a lot of your energy is going to be pushed into that um, because you're doing a lot of transformation. Now this could also be transformational. Um, um, uh, uh, situations going on with ancestral karma um, it can also be about doing that so you are probably performing uh, trans transmutation or some kind of um, shifting of energies within your home environment it could be within your own personal home environment or within your family um, ancestral and lineage and various things to do with ancestry is coming up a lot at the moment so this is part of a, a, a it's almost like a, um, a you know a worldwide issue Lots of things are coming up, um, and certain people are dealing with that. They've chosen to deal with that, so it looks like you are busy with that at this time. Um, so endings and beginnings. Um, it can also be, in certain circumstances, it can be um, a sexuality maybe coming up, um, you know, in your home, perhaps with your with your partner. Um, it can also be um, the death of something. Now, this is not necessarily a physical death. This is like an ego death or the passing away of something which no longer serves you in this realm. In this house so this could be a way of life or it could be somebody moving out of the home somebody moving in so endings and beginnings it can also be a shift upscaling downscaling relocating or or renovation something of that nature some sort of shift or change Scorpio does deal with the underground so just be careful that if you are moving somewhere check the sewers and the foundations and so on um, it's also to do with um, birth. Um, now, this can be an actual uh, birth of something like an idea or the birthing of a new timeline, or it can be um, regeneration or renewal of some sort within the home environment. So, as I said earlier, um, Ishelle, Medicine Woman, you are a channel for di divine healing power. So, I feel that your energies at this time are being very much channeled into this right now, um, your home environment uh, or into your family ancestry. Um, and this is about channeling that um, that energy. This is about channeling your your magic um, into this environment. So, as I said, transmutation of um, energies from dark to light, old to new, closing things out, uh, bringing in the new. Um, you 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 have a specific role within this environment at the moment, um, and it's about digging up the old things or facing the old things and vanquishing them and moving on to the new things but there's a process of transformation which goes on with that um, but you are a channel all you have to do is connect to your um, divine uh, um, your spirit team um, to, to help you channel that so make sure that you are using your first house energies um, to, to go within with the moon energy to actually access um, your, your times in retreat for meditation and so on monitor your instincts your intuitions and go with those um, and just go with those emotional um, you know sort of cycles that are moving through 
um, but but just be aware that you are a channel for healing, and that is part of you know quite quite obviously part of your um, your life purpose at this time. Um, and then with the um, with the pleasure, I do feel the Scorpio may be bringing that in, and this is to do probably with uh, the sexuality side, um, but it can also be about um, accessing this in some way, shape, or form, either within yourself or within your home environment, or right across the board. It's about um, finding ways to bring this into your life. So whether this is through some physical activity, or through spending time with your family, um, you know, your clan, um, and, um, you know, working with your family energies, or whether this is to do with something within the home, some sort of perhaps a redecoration or a change of some sort, some sort of transformation going on. But it's asking you to get in touch with this um, in some way, whatever is appropriate for you. It could also be through your friendship um, circle, which is coming up for the 11th house. So the 11th house, this is the house of friends. Um, uh, friendships, but it's also the house of contacts, networks, groups, group activities of all sorts. So you may be joining new groups online, you may be expanding your network right now, um, social causes, social reforms, global consciousness, group consciousness all comes in. Now, global consciousness and social reform is very much a, um, a factor now for the whole world going forward. Whether you are um, aware and awake of things or whether you are still finding your feet, um, Everybody is at some point going to be moving into that. So it's a kind of a looking around, observing, seeing what works for you, trying new things. But it's also your ideals, your hopes and dreams for the future. Um, you may be um, you may be reaching for something um, at this time, and you may be um, going through. Um, various types of shifts and changes in this um, you know global consciousness is, is very big at the moment so this is going to um, you know open doors for you possibly you may be getting futuristic visions or you having dreams um, you know manifesting or dreams that are kind of appearing for you at this time um, but it's also a lot of social activities um, whether there you are socializing or not whether you are retreating at this time you may be doing that um, you may just be retreating whereas others may be um, activating that in some form um, but it could also be raising your profile in some way so being seen connecting with others um, and or, you know when it's contacts and networks so you may be becoming part of a network of some sort or reaching out in some way or just gathering information um, and um, your hobbies and interests also come up uh, with this. So um, it's about connecting to that. I feel connecting to the group consciousness and um, also to trends and currents and the way things are moving currently. So you've got Sagittarius IC. This is a very visionary card. Um, it's also about a breakthrough um, or luck maybe coming in for you within this um, environment, um, you know, the 11th house. So it could be that. Um, but it's also about social um, expansion. So whether you're doing this online or whether you're able to actually do it physically depends on your situation in the world right now, where, which country in, where, what's happening around you. Um, but it's about connecting with others, socializing. But it's also very much about I see, which is the greater picture, the big picture. This is about seeing things. This is about visions of the future, seeing future trends, seeing the way things are going, being able to navigate um, your path. And this is where your first house and your moon comes in navigating via intuition and uh, discernment and instinct you know um, so it's being able to feel your way uh, through things so this is about visioning perception seeing things um, but it's also about connecting to others in some way shape or form but there may be a breakthrough or luck or some kind of um, opportunity coming in for you um, you know to do with this um, but it is also about possibly getting glimpses of the future and then being a little bit concerned. You've got Artemis Guardian here. You and your loved ones are safe and spiritually protected. So you may be a little bit concerned about the way things are going in the world, trends and currents and things that are occurring at this time. You may just be a little bit concerned about your your family's um, safety. It may be on your mind um, at this time. And um, what Artemis is saying um, is that your prayers, your requests to the uh, cosmos, to your spirit team, um, whatever you have sent that request to, has been heard and is being um, being honoured. Um, and it's saying that you and your loved ones are safe and spiritually protected. So do not um, um, 
give it energy, um, this worrying or concern or nigglings about things like that. What you should be doing is focus on your love and light, which is represented here, and your focused intention, which is represented here. Um, and um, spreading that love and light. This is a mission that we all have, okay, in some way, shape or form, whatever is your your um, particular uh, path. Um, and that can be, there are many paths. Um, we're not all on the same one. So this is about spreading your love and light in sh some way, shape or form. So focus on that. Focus your energy there as opposed to worries and concerns and, and um, trying to track too many things going on around you. Just focus on spreading your love and light. That is your most important mission at this time. And that can be in many different ways. It can be through a kind word to your people around you. It can be through emotional support. It can be through, through things that you write. Um, it can be things that you post. Um, it, it, there's lots of ways that you can bring this in. You can just be a steady rock for your family um, at this time, um, like a guiding light. Um, do your research, do whatever you can um, to, to raise your vibration and raise your frequency so that you can be this guiding light for others. But know that your your people are, your loved ones are secure and uh, taken care of. Um, so this is, as I said, you may be reaching, reaching for something, seeing the bigger picture with certain things as well. You may be getting insights, you may be um, perceiving a lot of different things at this time. Um, it can also be that there may be travel on your mind or travel related situations um, coming in with the Sagittarius um, influence. But it is also about adventure and exploration. So you may be yearning for that or wanting that at this time, but it can also be within the mind. So you could be learning. Um, and uh, acquiring knowledge, uh, which can be through higher uh, education or adult education. You may just be doing various online courses and things, connecting to a group, which is the 11th house. So um, it's, it's, it's everything to do with that. But also um, it's about belief systems and philosophy and religion and um, all of these concepts which are coming in. Foreign things may also be coming in. You may be tapping into foreign groups or concepts at this time or cultures. Depends on, on what your situation is. But by all means, your intuition and your perception is important with this. Um, but you may experience a breakthrough of some sort in this as well. Um, then the bottom of the goddess deck, we've got uh, Cordelia go outside. You have been indoors too long. Go outside and get some fresh air. So I do feel this is to do with your first house as well. Um, this is for raising your, you know, your, your, you know, lifting up your life force, your vitality. Um, it can be an appearance change as well, but it's also about raising your vibration and raising your outlook at this time. You want a positive outlook because emotions are going to be quite high. You're going to be riding a few cycles, a few dips and troughs, and then uh, cycles up and cycles down and so on. Um, so keep a handle on that by spending time in nature. Very, very important. Close to the ocean would be great. Otherwise, a water body, as I said but also in nature, spend time in nature, spend time communing with nature. You're going to get a lot of support from there, even if it's just a walk and then you go and sit by the water or in a forest or whatever setting it is that you can do. Um, spend time there to raise your vibration and connect to nature. As I said, we've got also a um, mart fairness coming in. The situation will be handled in a fair and just manner. So if you have something, some sort of legal situation um, or some sort of negotiation or mediation or something something to do with a decision which may involve you know, a, a few people, um, some sort of process, then it's saying that um, the situation will be handled in a fair and just manner um, and to release um, attachment to a specific outcome. Just get out of your own way, you know, put your course, your case forward and um, say what it is you need to say or, or put it forward uh, and then and then release and let the universe um, take over and bring the best uh, possible outcome uh, for all concerned because um, the universe has a, a wider perspective than you. Um, so just, you know, Release yourself from an attachment to um, a specific outcome and um, you will have this, uh, you know, the, the fairness will come in. We have also got um, Solar Eclipse Revolution. So this is about self-mastery. I do feel this may be very well related to the situation going on in your home situation, the Scorpio I transform. So this is about self-mastery. Um, this is about changes coming about and they can be very swift. 
changes coming about either within relationships, uh, within a work um, setting, so like a career or a profession, or just your, where you work currently, um, or it can also be, um, you know, like a relocation or a home change, and this is where the fourth house is coming in. So for some of you, that is the case, okay, and for others of you, it may be, um, have another slant, but it's about uh, self-mastery. This is about... Um, you know, facing this uh, situation and being in the present moment, okay? You need to be in the present moment, which is why you've got the moon as well. Just be careful with the moon that you don't slip into nostalgia and sentimentality and be fixed on the past. You can't do that, not with the solar eclipse. This is going to force you into the present moment where all your decisions are actually made, okay? So you can look at, uh, bring hindsight in. This is wisdom, but um, you can't live there, okay? So make sure that you are staying in the present moment to make the very best decisions. But this can be be quite an upheaval or some sort of shift or change coming in for you and this is why the Scorpio energy is present um, some sort of shift or change you, you're going to be um, you're going to be dealing with um, with something which which is like an upheaval or a or a realization or it could be a turning point of some sort some sort of shift um, and you're going from one direction and you're changing direction some to another one um, and this is indicating that you you know the self mastery is is being open to the change accepting it and working with what is presented to you. You may have to uh, sort of dive in and fix or change or create something. Um, and, um, you know, this is with an, working with an existing situation. Um, but whatever you do is going to be better on the other side of that. So just be open to it. Um, your attitude and your uh, approach to this, um, whatever it is that's coming in, is going to determine how you how you move forward with that. Just you know, being in a neutral position, but be willing to work with the universe to work with the energies and move forward. But you may just be a little bit out of sorts until things settle um, once this comes in. But ultimately, it's about self mastery. That is the overall for the solar eclipse. Then, uh, as I said, for the um, for the fairy tarot queen of spring, brilliant, brilliant, loyal, talented and friendly. Believe in yourself. Wonderful people want to help you, which is why you have the 11th house as well. Okay, this is all about friendships um, and contacts and networks and so on. So there are going to be some around you who are going to give you an, some sort of, you're going to reach some sort of breakthrough or lucky um, break or some sort of opportunity or just support, you know, coming in. It's something, it's very fortuitous, very um, beneficial. And... Um, Believe in yourself um, and uh, maintain a balance between work and home life, which is why I think you had the first house there. So you need to just um, you need to just balance things um, and um, and your approach to things as well. That's what that's about. And then the bottom um, of the um, fairy tarot, seven of summer, no more procrastinating. Your power comes from making a decision. Confusion that arises from over-analyzing the options. And this is why I do feel here you've got the solar eclipse revolution. This is going to present something to you. Um, um, or it could be that you need to take a step. Um, sometimes when you, you can preempt these um, these uh, eclipse energies coming in because if you know something needs to be done then then take steps to do it and then you can head it off at the past. So if there is something that you're procrastinating about something you're putting off, um, then you need to um, make a decision. Otherwise, this will come in and and you will be put in a position where you have to. Uh, it's in the present moment. This it will force you into the present moment um, instead of dreaming or, or spending time in the past or whatever. Um, and then also. Confusion that arises from over-analyzing the options. So just be careful with that that you don't um, that you don't slip into that as a as a as a way of uh, procrastinating. Um, you know, it's 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 almost like an eco concern where you've got too much going on. You you kind of enjoy that because it prevents you then from making a decision, and some sort of decision is going to have to be made in some way, shape, or form. It could be first house, or they all could all be joining in um, at this time. But certainly something is coming in. Um, something that you have to work with, something that you're going to have to uh, move ahead with or fix or change or create. I hope you enjoyed that. Please have a wonderful month and um, I will see you next time. Take care.